Hi everyone, happy Tip Tuesday. Today I'm going to give you three tips that you need to try bottom of funnel right now. Before we get into it, I'm Sayla Shepard from SM Strategies and this is Tip Tuesday, where I bring you all the latest and greatest social media tips in organic social media and paid social media. Thanks for being here. So last week we talked about retargeting audiences and audiences that you needed to try in your Facebook campaigns. This week, I'm adding on top of that and giving you other things that you need to try along with those audiences to get bottom of funnel working for you. Most advertisers are really struggling with their bottom of funnel or retargeting campaigns. So when I talk about all of this, what I'm talking about is getting those customers who have already interacted with your brand but haven't purchased. Marketers are having a harder and harder time capturing these people because Chrome and Safari are getting much smarter and therefore it is harder for us to target people's IP addresses and send them targeted ads of things that they were looking for. But there are ways to make retargeting work for you. So I'm gonna give you three more suggestions. Let's just jump right into it. The first one is a reach campaign with a high frequency. What this is gonna do is it's gonna hit that person multiple times so that all they're seeing is your ads. Well, they'll see other ads, but they'll see your ads more often, right? So this works great if you have a really good offer or a sale going on. So a lot of my clients had summer sales or 4th of July sales, and those work really well in reach campaigns because you're just bombarding people with your sale and they'll most likely want to purchase it the more they see it, right? So try a reach campaign with a high frequency. If you have a high traffic site, um, maybe only try a three day or a seven day window for this reach campaign. However, if you have a low traffic site, you might want to make that audience a little bit larger by doing a 30 day um, retarget. So that's the first thing that you need to try. The second one is using customer testimonials bottom of funnel. So if you have videos of your customers talking about your product in a super awesome way, then definitely use those bottom of funnel. If you don't have that, then just throw up even a product shot um, with text that is the customer testimonial. These were great bottom of funnel because they basically reassure people who were looking but didn't quite purchase and it helps push them over the edge. So try customer testimonials bottom of funnel. The third suggestion is a really clear CTA. I talk about this all the time and how important it is, um, but I'm saying take it even one step further and maybe even create a photo with a sticker on it that says your offer, whether that's 25% off, free shipping, buy one, get one, whatever it might be, create that image. Use Canva or another tool like that to make it happen and try that bottom of funnel and see if it helps improve your click-through rate. Um, if your click-through rate is higher because of that, then definitely it works for your brand. So those are three tips that I have for you to try bottom of funnel. If you try them and they work, please let me know in the comments. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much.